In today's video, I've got some classy spring outfit ideas for you. Now I do this style of video every year. It's full of inspiration and loads of outfit ideas, which will hopefully help you plan your spring wardrobe. Now I'm starting this video with a casual outfit with wide leg jeans. Wide leg jeans do come in all sorts of variations. There's the overly flared wide leg, or there is a more subtle silhouette. This outfit I'm gonna show you, it's a casual outfit with wide leg jeans, but it still looks smart, not scruffy. And one of the reasons for that is the color of the denim. It's a darker shade of denim in a solid color, and it's not patchy or faded. The whole outfit is just two colors of dark blue and white. So everything pairs together seamlessly, making a really polished and nicely put together outfit for spring. If you find denim uncomfortable or it's too hot to wear in the springtime, then a pair of wide leg trousers in a lighter fabric could be a nice alternative. The way to make wide leg trousers work is not to wear them super wide which tend to end up looking a little bit like a skirt. They look too full and billowy and just shapeless. There's several ways you can wear them. They could be worn with a summer vest top and sandals and a crossbody bag, or could be layered with a white blazer. A coloured pair always looks so vibrant in the springtime, either paired with a muted down top or full on colour blocking, making a very eye catching outfit. If you prefer wearing darker colours, you could recreate this Chanel-esque look with black wide leg trousers, a white top and a cropped cardigan. This is a beautiful way to make a classic looking outfit from a modern piece of clothing. A look I've always loved with wide leg trousers is this, which I've recreated with the things I have. The sweater I'm wearing is from Marks and Spencers, the bag is H&M, the trainers are from Cala Shoes and the trousers are from Lily Silk. I have to say it's very rare for me to find a pair of trousers that I can wear with flat shoes. Usually they're too long for me, but these are just the right length. These are silk and it's a very heavy silk. They've got a lovely sheen on them and they hang wonderfully as well. And whilst I've worn them casually, they can so easily be dressed up for smarter looks with beautiful silk shirts like the white pair have in this picture and they're a nice alternative to white jeans. White jeans look gorgeous in the springtime, but they're not the most flattering colour to wear. Black is more flattering, but you know, if you don't want to wear black in the springtime, you could try an indigo, a dark indigo. It's far more flattering than white, but not quite as harsh as black. This outfit is a terrific outfit for spring with indigo jeans. But if you love your white jeans, it could be worn very similarly with these. With the indigo, it looks a little bit more of a polished casual outfit but I've tried it with both anyway. So I've put this together with my Lily Silk shirt. This is the Amalfi shirt. It's a deep blue navy stripe, which is 100% mulberry silk. It's very soft and comfortable, very luxurious. Everything you associate with Lily Silk pieces. It does also have their logo branded on the shirt, which I think is new. It's been very subtly done and I actually think it looks lovely. Here's the same shirt with the white jeans. It does look great with white. I think red shoes would look nice with it, but I do prefer white jeans with a nude shoe just to try and make my little legs look longer. Adding a navy blazer really elevates the overall outfit. It's a very smart look, and I've put that together with a black bag rather than navy just to give it a little bit of a contrast. I've also tried it with a white blazer. I have done white blazer and jeans, so it does look a little bit like a casual suit. But instead of the white jeans, I could try indigo jeans on the bottom with that. Another way to wear it is worn open with a vest top underneath with some tan accessories. It's just a very versatile shirt and it looks so luxurious. As well as this shirt, they've got a few new striped pieces. There's this very beautiful feminine striped shirt dress. It's got this very flattering vertical panel down the front. And this is one of those dresses that I think it's quite timeless. I'll be able to wear this year after year, either with heels or with flats. It could be paired with different coloured bags. I mean, I've put it with a navy bag, but it will look lovely with a white bag, perhaps with tan accessories too, or maybe even a red bag. And as a plus, it does have pockets too. If you don't like shirt dresses, they have a silk wrap dress in the same fabric and print. It's a little bit shorter than the shirt dress. This one finishes just slightly higher, just above my knee. Like the shirt dress, this is 100% mulberry silk, and I think this could be a wonderful dress for work. It could be layered with a navy blazer, and then I could add a navy bag and perhaps a belt as well. I'll link all these pieces below for you. I've got a code as well for 12% off, which is WTW, and I'll link that below for you as well. 
Another colour combination that works well in the spring is white, light blue and tan. Combined, they look lovely together. This colour combination really has become quite a classic colour pairing. It could be a blue and white striped shirt, a solid colour blue striped shirt or even a denim shirt. It just has a freshness about it that works so well in the springtime but it also looks very classy together. Now quite a nice variation of this is white jeans but with a pastel pink shirt. It's not quite as common as the blue and white look but it looks equally as nice and works just as well with tan accessories like the belt, the bag and shoes. And if you don't like the shirts tucked in you can wear it loose over a white shirt or a tank top. If you don't like pastels and like much brighter and bolder colours you could try a very similar look but with a bright coloured shirt or even with a bright blazer and you could also try that bright coloured shirt with some blue shorts it can look so striking. Not everyone likes toe cap shoes I know but if you do springtime is the perfect time to wear them they elevate the most simplest outfit effortlessly. If you are looking for some toe cap shoes, there's usually some dupes available online. These are the best ones I could find in a very similar style and they're all very reasonable prices. But if you have some already, there's many ways to wear these in the spring. You could try them with a white shirt, black bottoms and a beige sweater over the shoulders. They look sublime. It's just three classic items and the overall look is chic and effortless and any age woman could wear this look. It could be reversed with white on the bottom and black on the top or you could wear them with white jeans, a white top and a camel blazer or perhaps a trench coat. Or if you don't like wearing jeans, they do look nice with casual trousers and a vest top and they do work with summer dresses as well. I like them with black dresses but I probably wouldn't wear them with a white dress. Now speaking of white dresses, a spring outfit video wouldn't really be complete without some white dresses. They look so beautiful in the springtime and the best thing about them is that you really don't have to do anything to style them up. The less the better. Just put them with some tan or nude or some natural materials like straw or raffia. I just got this one from Marks and Spencers. It's very similar to a black one that I got last year so I knew I was going to like the style. It is lined inside but it's going to still need a slip underneath. It's got good top of the arm coverage and ultimately it's very comfortable to wear. Moving away from jeans, a nice skirt outfit that looks comfortable to wear in the warmer weather is this. The sarong style skirt paired with a classic white shirt looks very feminine but it also looks very comfortable and cool. Paired with the white shirt it adds that touch of chic, the white shirt does so easily. The same style skirt could be worn with a tighter fitting top like a vest top if, if the weather is warm and you feel comfortable in that style. Pair that with a gorgeous straw bag and some sandals for a really terrific spring outfit. Skirts like this can always be layered with a spring blazer if you want some coverage. They layer very easily and look great together. Another skirt outfit that's simple to put together and looks comfortable too is with a t-shirt. A refreshing variation of the classic blue and white striped shirt is one in a different colour. Pair it with other pieces in the same hue and the overall outfit looks smart and sophisticated. The gold chunky necklace and earrings really elevate this look and what elevates the outfit even further is the textured sweater over the shoulders. It's a gorgeous outfit combination. The blue and white striped t-shirt is perhaps a little bit dull but it could be worn like this to recreate this outfit with a blue skirt, gold jewellery and a textured knit and I think it will look less boring and just give it a bit of an update. Anything linen is lovely to wear in the spring and the summertime. It's comfortable to wear and it does keep you cool but we all know the challenge it can be to keep it looking good and wrinkle free. If you do like wearing skirts but don't like the wrinkled look there's denim for those days when it's not overly warm. A white skirt and a bold striped sweater always looks good paired together as does a blue denim skirt and a white shirt. Whatever you prefer wearing on the bottom, jeans, skirts, shorts, then pair it with a white shirt. It instantly makes an outfit look chic. Just stock your wardrobe full of white shirts in different fabrics and cuts so that you're covered for every occasion. Pair them up with indigo jeans or black jeans and some sandals. I mean it's amazing how something so simple just looks so good. The white shirt has the same effect with a pair of shorts. It can just make a pair of shorts look less frumpy and more sophisticated 
and they always look nice knotted with a skirt as well. I've got a video full of gorgeous ways to wear a white shirt so I'll put it here so you can watch that next.